Guys, so we've got a bit of a new game here. Now, I've had a lot of you asking me about playing some new games and what I'm working on and what I'm enjoying. Now, this is in a very, very early stage of alpha. If you're interested, I can make a video for you guys on how to download it. But this is on a very early alpha stage and it's called Lord of the Rings Heroes something, something, something. It's quite a long name. But it's basically the equivalent of uh, the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, I think. So it's called Lord of the Rings Hero. So it is obviously made by EA, so it's the same concept. You've got your good, you've got your bad. I, uh, I've obviously got Pippin to unlock here. I just kind of wanted to load this game up and show you where, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be spending hours on the, on this doing this um, video, but I want to give you a first impressions and then kind of review in a few things that I like. Now, I have to be honest with you, it's in very early, very, very, very early access. So... I can't stress that enough. Do not judge what you're going to see here too much. So I've got a new healer. I needed another healer. So I'm, I want to get him to level 25 so I can get heals or squad members. That's going to be absolutely ridiculous. And I can now replace the other healer I was using on my team. And um, going straight into it, leveling up a character, I know. But you basically get uh, gear to equip and then it pushes them up. I quite like, as you can see, some of the stuff isn't all 100% accurate here. So what I really like about Pippin is that he works really well with um, Frodo, and they do these fantastic things on this game. Now, I really do like this, is that you can see best with, and it basically means that it upgrades their moves. So, and I really like the idea of that. It basically means when you've got one of these characters on, they can like do co-op moves with some of the other people, and I think it works very, very well. So if, if I go back here and basically show you my roster at the moment. So if I go into my collection here with the ring. Oh, lovely. Got another 50 there. Great. Collection. Okay, so what we have here. There's a lot of downloads doing this game as well. Like I said, it's not quite finished yet. But you can see it's kind of the same structure as um, you could compare it to Strike Force. And you could also very closely compare it to Galaxy of Heroes. The Star Wars one, obviously, because it's made by the same company. So you've got... A lot of you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shards. That is an Aragon. That's just, I think, I don't know if that's a character canon. I don't know if it's, I've never heard of Strider before. I'm not the world's, I love Lord of the Rings. I'm not the world's biggest, like, lore hunter, I guess you could say. But, you know, I love these types of games. And it is Lord of the Rings, so it's incredible. So you can see that I've mainly been working on the good guys at the moment. Really wanting to push them up to that 25 level so I can get Pippin to basically upgrade the whole squad. Because then he's going to be the main healer. But you can see that we've got Frodo and Pippin. Those are the kind of the biggest characters. The art style is pretty good. Um, they probably will, I imagine, do a graphics update when the game actually releases. So at the moment, you've got a guild, which is very, very a basic level. You've got these events that pop up. You don't get a lot of time on these events, I have to add. But they're normally quite easy, so auto win five times. And I like the way they do these types of events. So I'll just I'll just do it five times. There we go. So these events are quite cool. They're like really short, quick ones, but they just give you like little bits and pieces. And I quite like the way they do that. So look, five shards for that character. Now there's one there. I'm probably not going to actually be able to get through this one. There's quite a lot of bits to do, but I like the way they do these quick kind of efficient events. I like it. I wish they'd split the awards down each thing so you can get little bits and pieces to help. But I quite like that. They're quite rapid and you've got to be quick. Obviously, they've got the shops and I think that you'd normally expect. And like I said, there isn't a huge amount at the moment, but that isn't too much of a problem, really. You can obviously buy shards as well as you go. I just I haven't decided who to work on and things like that yet, but I'm just queuing all the supplies up and just sort of playing quite passively on this game in the background because as you know i'm very excited for the street fighter game which should be coming out tomorrow so i might hopefully i'll make a video tomorrow or the day after on that for you and hopefully we can play that together we can go along together on it so obviously doing your um daily missions here is probably the one of the most efficient ways to level up and you're also going to be able to grab 10 for strider each time the guild have its has its own separate campaign i imagine they'll probably add guild battles and things like that but at the moment you've got three levels you've got your light campaign your shadow campaign your guild so good bad guild and the guild can be combined with both characters so what i've been doing at the moment in the guild battle every day is making sure that i clear 20 of these a day to help me in my chance of getting pippin so i got four the drop rates aren't great <laughs> Um, as most of you know, when you play games like this, the drop rate never is particularly great. But let's jump in and do a battle so you can see that anyway. 
And like I said, this is basically it. This is the bare bones of the game at the moment. And I think it's obviously where they're just slowly pushing it in. So I'm going to drop him off, which lowers everyone's synergy. But if I put him on, oh, hang on. If I put Pippin on, there, it's gone up to eight now. So the hobbits have gone mad with the eight link. So obviously he's not doing very well because he's only got one link. So if I knock him off and put my other healer on, we're on six. Now we've got eight, eight, six, six, and five. So these two here are doing a co-op move and these two here are doing a co-op move, which is very good. And I've just got my main guy in the middle. So now if I ready this up and fight, you'll see now, yeah, the graphics aren't extraordinarily decent but we've got Pippin and obviously we've got good old Frodo as well now obviously I would like to get Gandalf and try and max him out but these are kind of all on the, the luck of the draw of the drop rates and things like that so we have got quite far to go until we get to a good position but you can see we are in the elf village here you've got your cutscenes you've got your auto mode you've got your speed ups so what I'm going to do at the moment is as you can see it doesn't particularly fit the screen fully at the moment so you do kind of get a little bit like jabbed up i guess you could say because you're not actually soft you can't really see the guy off the screen there but i'm going to use um this move straight away hit lovely 300 i'm just going to give him a smack just finish this guy off oh no he's still got health well that's annoying daggers lovely so it's one down so you see we haven't actually got sound for attacks yet but like i said this is in very early alpha and i just wanted to express how how actually much i enjoy this game these types of games good sort of tactics now this is one of the co-op moves if i put this on one time speed right watch he does that and then he calls for his mate who's with him so now they do a double attack and i really like the way i think that's quite a unique way to do these types of games if i was to pick something that was unique it would i mean for some reason that didn't do any damage look ring invisibility stab um i'm gonna do it's gonna do a normal hit i was hoping i'd kill her but i didn't so they're not doing a huge amount of damage at the moment. I'm just going to keep doing the normal hits so I can stack everything else up. Lovely. And I got quite a good crit there as well. So that crit was very useful. So here we go. So they're running in. Um, let's, attack. let's go. just go for that guy. See, we've got the double attack there. So that's quite cool. I don't know what this move does. Oh, it gives everyone fury. I'm not particularly sure what that is. I like this move. Look. Fire, hit. There's three hits. It's stupid. Oh, we've got a double hit at the back. It's going to heal. Lovely. So I should be right of health now. Let's take the middle one down first. Yeah, get rid of her. Blade attack. Stealth search. She can't be targeted. I've got quite a few characters with stealth at the moment. Oh, I love the way that like the characters dodge as well. It always just seems like such a betrayal when they dodge and the guy at the back just gets shredded. Oh, there we go. Oh, that didn't do any damage. I need to level that character up a little bit because she's not got a lot of health. 465. Okay, cool. Final battle. Oh, we got a lot of people. Um, no one I need to hugely be worried about, actually. Let's just use that for now. Get the morale up. I don't need to heal yet, so I'm going to save that. Let's try and get rid of her straight away. She's vulnerable. I'm going to use that move on her because it should kill her straight away. Get the co-op attack in. Oh, it didn't kill us straight away. Oh, we got a healer at the back. Okay, I should maybe prioritize that healer a little bit. But my guys have still got enough health because luckily they're all targeting the tank. I'm going to hit that. That's one of my favorite moves, that one. I'm going to do the ring move on her. Sneak up behind. Whoosh, hit. Can I kill her? Yes, healer's gone. I think that hits the person next door. Yeah, it does. So obviously there's some of the moves are really quite cool because they do multiple attacks. I'm imagining like when you get characters like Gandalf, they'll probably have a move which does attack everyone. But I just wanted to kind of give you a quick look at the actual gameplay here. It is very, very good. I think it's very easy. It's fun. It's simple. I imagine it will get very complicated. Um, I'm certainly not going to say it won't. And also you've got your hard mode to go through as well. You've got your bad guys. You've got your good guys. Some of the hard modes as well give you character shards. But as you can see, the drop. Oh, that was actually quite a good drop rate on that one. So I do recommend if you like Lord of the Rings to get this game early, even if you're just kind of just dropping on like I was doing here and just sort of raiding to get random bits and pieces just quite quickly. Because then at least you're still going to be able to get shards and get XP and gold and stuff for when the game comes out and there's a lot more happening. I mean, it doesn't seem like they're going to be doing resets because you can spend in-app purchases. And normally in games, if you can do in-app purchases, they won't do resets. I've just unlocked the new adventure mode as well. But there's, there's a cool, like tweaks and things this is like the daily mode which kind of rolls around but 
I like all these things to get abilities and stuff like that. So it is a pretty good game. I don't know why the auto button isn't working there. Now it will. So yeah, I think it's cool. And I just kind of wanted to show you a little look of it. And this is obviously the, the mode you do every day to get your resources in. So it is, it's, it's quite Raid Shadow Legend-y, crossed with um, Galaxy of Heroes, I'd have to say. I think it's very, very good. And I'm excited to see how this game folds, folds out, uh, grows. Don't know what I'm talking about, but I, I'm excited to give it a go. So also you do have your auto mode as well, which is very good. You just leave them to go. Everyone's happy nice and easy. So I just wanted to show you this. I want to give a review on it. I, I can't give a too much review, but Early Alpha is a very solid game. It's simple. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a, a quite a nice time killer. It doesn't seem like you're going to need to spend a lot of money on it either, giving it that really nice free to play element. So I am very curious. I want you guys to sort of comment down below from what you're seeing here. Do make sure you like and subscribe for more Lord of the Rings. Disney and Street Fighter content guys. I'm enjoying this game. I'm going to be playing it daily. So make sure you come and join and have, have some fun with me on the channel guys. Comment down below and let me know what you think. But I think this is cool and I'm excited to get into it. So I, at the moment, um, as far as it goes, I'd probably just give it a solid, solid 6 out of 10. I haven't got any gripes with it. It's a fun card collecting hero game with which, hand, which has all of your Lord of the Rings lore in. So I think it's very, very cool and very, very fun. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you legends in the next one.